Hello, this is part 9 of HTML videos. I would like to explain the way how to use a div tag to create a web page. And see now we are trying to construct a layout here with the help of div tag. Uh, for that you better concentrate a basic layout model. In order to understand a basic layout model, I just want to go through my regular MS Word. See this is just to understand uh, what exactly the output type you want. Right? So before creating any web page, it is better you just try to draw a layout uh, according to your requirement. For that, I just want to focus MS Word and I just want to build a layout like this. See, I am trying to construct a web page. For that, I need a banner. Thereafter, I need a placeholder to the left of the page and also I just want to elevate my content right side of the page and I need a footer understand see this is the way I just want to elevate my page giving some colors something like this right we now go to create HTML page like this. There is heading, left area. Imagine this is for regular menu information, and this placeholder is to elevate page content, and this is a footer. Now we are trying to use our regular HTML div tag to construct the type of layout. Say this is very regular HTML page structure. You know that we are observing this page structure in each and every example and save this page as page9.html understand now I am trying to construct a div within the div if you want you just try to uh, try to type any information say this is banner understand close it in order to provide a better output, we know that we should pass some additional information to this div. Let me say the width of the div, I prefer to set 1000 pixels. Generally, we concentrate widths from 960 to 1200 maximum. Of course, according to your requirement, you may change uh, dimensions. But I prefer to use 1000 pixels as width of this div height for example is 100 pixels let me set some background color background color is green if you want to just try to assign font color understand so this is the way you just try to define a basic div tag and execute your HTML page see this is the way you can you can construct a banner okay and after that I need a left div for that what I am doing is it is very simple you copy and paste your previous div say left div it is right I don't want to apply thousand pixels width for this div I just want to limit my width up to 200 pixels and I, I, I just want to extend uh, this div height up to 400 pixels for example why because so our div contains more height than the banner div and better you change background color say red is our background color right so this is the way you try to present another div here and see the output. To see output, better you refresh your page. See this is the way you can uh, populate another, another div on the page. Understand? Now if you want one more div, use another div. Try to use your previous div and better you change dimensions see the maximum width of our banner is 1000 pixels already we alerted 200 pixel for menu area and this is 
800 pixel which is for right div which is for right div understand so let me change background color to orange or any color you can apply your own colors so now okay no need to worry about colors save this space and again run it see the basic output how it displays there is a problem with proper positions of these two divs why because so there is no particular position is given for these both of these divs by default the order is uh, you get div by div in general once you define multiple div tags in your html page automatically they come one by one if you want to present side by side divs so definitely you have to use particular position there for your regular divs here i would like to apply a position called a left float left float describes position here I, I just want to apply float left to this div and I want to apply float again left to this div understand this is the way you try to define float and then refresh your page see the way how we go to arrange divs side by side uh, applying float left as well as float left and also there is another area here for footer in order to construct a footer give it to 1000 pixels and we don't want more height for our div and this is for example black in color and also use float left say this is footer area understand so the way you just try to construct multiple divs here and see the output how exactly the div is going to construct the layout understand so this is the way try to use couple of divs and try to arrange a div side by side and try to define content within the div now I just want to align this entire structure to center to my screen for that we have a specific tag in HTML the tag is center and you just try to use the closing of center see the output there is a problem with so the alignment here the position uh, positions of these divs are already defined the reason we are unable to uh, align these divs to center to the screen in order to overcome this difficulty you better maintain a container now this container acts as a parent container for all these divs I mean to say that you can define a div within the div better is just try to define container width as maximum the maximum width is 1000 pixels that's enough now you try to refresh your HTML page see the alignment how exactly it displays okay so layout and see um, the way to construct a web page using html divs understand thank you very much